Okay, so here we are. What we're doing today is, it's pouring outside, it's Labor Day. So what we're going to try and do is put together our six and a half quart fish fryer from Bass Pro Shops. And we're going to show you how to do it. And then later on we're going to do another video. I got some walleye that got caught and we're going to cook it up. So we're going to start out. It says all you need are an adjustable wrench. A Phillips screwdriver. Now, if you know me, I'm kind of an adjustable players kind of guy. And I'm an electrician, so I tend to use my strippers for everything. So you really only use them to hold the bolts as you tighten them. So I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. So what we're going to do is start out, like everybody else, read your instructions, your owner's manual. Okay? And it's going to tell you how to set it up. It sets up real, real easy. So, to start out, we're going to attach our legs here to our holding frame. Man, you can hear that lightning out there. Thunder. Yesterday was such a beautiful day, too. Today, we're just getting hammered. I'll take one. Tighten that bad boy down. And actually, these are gripper nuts, so. On there, I didn't even really need the pliers. But, we will fasten them down, because that's what the instructions say to do. Now, while I'm doing this, you want to note I'm putting the feet on the outside of this ring. Okay, and... I'm not going to lie to you, I'm winging it, so I'll be looking back at the instructions as I need to, but it seems pretty self-explanatory. All your nuts are the same size that come in the kit. Now, one thing I did read, this is not intended for turkeys, okay? So don't think, oh, $25, I'm getting a turkey deep fryer. The BTUs aren't big enough more than likely and this sits kind of low I'm gonna put it on a table when I cook a wooden table but as always remember you're dealing with propane if any of you have ever seen a propane fire spread from a, one of these fryers it is not pretty so now our next step I would believe would be to take our ring here and I'm gonna say this they go on the inside let's double check nope the outside it is and again make sure you read the instructions thoroughly but I think we all know most of us are gonna wing it then go back to the instructions and try and figure it out so I'm doing it that way now what I'm gonna do is I want to, I'm just gonna put the top bolt in each one for now. That way it kinda holds everything together for me. And then we'll go around and level it. I'm gonna make sure it's level because you don't want the oil in it. It's a slosh from side to side. That's just not going to be good. I'm doing this on my phone, so hopefully there's enough time here. And I don't have to do a double edit. I want to thank everybody who subscribed. We're getting up there. I'm trying. If you don't mind hitting the subscribe button for me while you're here today. I would much appreciate it. Again, we just do this because we love the outdoors and we like to get everybody on the same page. We don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're out hunting, fishing, camping. I try not to exclude anybody. I realize some people aren't pro hunter. 
Unfortunately, well, I can't say unfortunately. I am a boat. I am a hunter, so. But I'm also a conservationist, and that's what you want. You know, if it wasn't for conservationists, we wouldn't have nature. Especially this year. Everything seems to be coming back. Life gets hectic sometimes, and it's good to just be able to go outside. Enjoy yourself when there's really not a whole lot to do. Everything's closed. The things that are open are kind of hard to get to. We have here, I live really close to a major amusement park in Ohio. And I'll be honest with you, nobody's really going because the lines are long. People are worried about wearing a mask all day. I wear the mask. I don't mind that. My opinion is better than safe than sorry, but that's just my opinion. This actually goes together fairly simple. So, get this all linked in here together, and it went pretty quick, which is good. Now, we're going to be having another giveaway for our Facebook page. We just hit 400 members. So, 100 more, we're going to have another giveaway. And, I don't know, maybe it'll be one of these. I'm kind of liking the way it's goes together, but I'll let you know for sure after I cook with it here in a couple hours. anything you need put up just give me a call we just did a thing we're having a we're having a land fishing tournament here for walleye pretty soon another month and I threw that up there because I grew up without a boat in that I grew up on Lake Erie but unfortunately I never had a boat or anything so I've always been mainly a bank fisherman. Steelhead, walleye, anything we could catch. So I kind of like to keep everybody abreast of what's going on. And now, what you're going to do, and see, that's why we put these together first. No, this goes on the bottom. Okay, we're good. I think that goes on the bottom. This may be where we take everything back apart. And this one. There. Now we're going to check the book real quick. I don't actually see that plate in there anymore. Oh, yes I do. Yes, I do. So what we need to do... Is this plate... Actually goes under here. It's only that it's a little hard to get on to this burner, but I think one of us guys can't see it. And then it's got a little tightener here. Go ahead and hold. What I'm gonna do is slap it, flip it. Upside down, 
And that gives you a little drain hole in case anything spills, I take it. And again, I did kind of cheat. I read the instructions, so I knew this was on. Heck, old Uncle Steve. It's clock tick all night. And there's our actual fryer. All set and ready to go. And you take your regulator. Now this regulator is made for a full-size tank, a 30 tank. You can buy an adapter. I have not. Simply because I thought I had one. So you can go ahead and uh, screw that in. And I'll snug that before I'm done with a regular adjustable wrench. But now, she's in there all the way. Right in there. If it's any consolation, I have this problem at work too. I'm a, a machine mechanic. I'm always messing with fittings like this. I can't quite get to catch. And there we go. So that is your basic burner assembly. Now, we got one more part left. There's more. Oop. We don't want to lose our nuts and bolts. I'm already a screw loose. <laughs> So we're going to take all those, set those right there. I'm going to reach over here. And what that handles for is, first off, you have your deep pot, which I will take in the house to wash, which says, like so. Then, of course, you have your basket. This unit also comes with a thermometer, which is kind of nice. So what we do here is... This is just four little holes, and I'm going to do just like I did before. Now what I do is I put this is just me. I put these in backwards, okay? Because like I said, I'm a machine mechanic. I work in the food industry. And I just don't like the idea of little parts falling into anything. But I know it's just oil, but that's just me. I'm going to put one there. Flip it over and put one here. Lock washer. Because I would hate to bite into my fish. And get a bolt in my mouth for a nut. That didn't come out right, but y'all know what I mean. This has a little hook on it. So that Missing one washer. We're going to put it together anyway. I'm sure I got one for the stainless washer. So. Now. 
these you really want to make sure are tight because you don't want anything falling back in the fryer while you're trying to cook. And there you have it, the Bass Pro Shops tabletop, six and a half quart deep fryer. And it does come with a fancy little thermometer for testing the oil. Voila. So. This is Steve signing off from Northern Boys Outdoors. Give us a like, share, and subscribe. And go ahead and join the Facebook page. We're going to have another giveaway. And we're going to have another giveaway if we hit 500 subscribers on here. Okay, so go ahead and subscribe. Get your name in the drawing. Uh, that's all you really have to do. The names come to me. I put them, when I get them, I stick them in a jug. And then we hit pull the drawing. Thanks a lot. And stay outside.